Ooh, all right. We are back with part five. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot. We got Scott to do. Rocket! What's right. with him? The abomination is never happy. Try not to talk while Rocket the characters are talking here. Our comms are flarked. The tracker's still counting down. Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Alright, so we had to go through... I, I personally had to go through a lot to get to this recording. Uh, ran into some uh, power-related issues over the weekend when I wanted to record, and it was just not safe to be operating anything hey, electronic. Well. What does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Look at him with these glasses ah, on. I knew it. There are no birds on nowhere. <laughs> Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Anyway, it was not safe to be doing anything electrical over the weekend. I apologize for how long it's taken to me, but we are back. Uh, and once again, thank you to Square Enix for this copy of Guardians you of the Galaxy. Ask Groot about this when he's free. Uh, they fired this over to me and... Uh, Basically just said, give it a go. And I've been enjoying it. Been enjoying uh, this entire playthrough so far. This game well, is didn't last long. not what I expected. Uh, wow, it's like far, far, far beyond Avengers. Uh, Avengers had a, you know, I guess an okay campaign. And then, of course, the end game hit and it was awful. So, yeah, Perhaps we're back. We consume the rest of our food rations before we Drax is making this fun. I'll pass. You were not hungry? I already checked the cupboard. All we've got left are number five ration packs. All right, let's check on Rocket here. Oh, that's my room. Hey, uh, guys, what's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. Jeez. Rocket, he's just pissed off all the time. Can't believe Quill's such a bootlicker. What's with his obsession with bending over for Novacore? I am Groot. Respect them? Please. All the blue flak nards know how to do is arrest people trying to make a living and slap them with scut bugging fines. I am Groot. Nope. It's that simple. And Quill still wants to pay up. After all we've done for him. Alright, let's bang on his door again. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Oh. Alright, let's bang again. Come on, guys. Groot. Groot says, go away. Man. Hopefully if one of these days they're going to just come around and uh, actually respect my decisions as captain. Let's so see. Those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. All right. Let's get the old flux capacitor fluxing. Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Let's go. Uh, can I press any buttons? I can't press anything right here. It looks fabulous, though. Alright, there we go. 
Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Punch it, Chewie. Yeah, all those things. All right. <laughs> Going to the rave club scene, apparently. Oh, yes. Ah, nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh, look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. Check this place out. Yo, the colors. Just the the graphics. You're certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans likely. See you never, flark bags. Flark bags. So looks like we already got dressed through on the old star lower jacket. The rocketing group. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? <laughs> The psycho space llama. Maybe when we get back, I'll ask you to give you a bath. I have been picking up a lot of these cosmetics, though. Uh, I've been finding little cosmetic uh, caches and stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm so partial to the Star Lord look, though, with the jacket. I know I found, I, I got some, I don't know, the cosmetic pack that came with the game from Square Enix. And then uh, I've been finding some of these other ones where I can dress them up like Novacore and things like that. I don't know. Maybe leave a comment down in the comment section. You want to see, look at the the ray tracing effect. Jeez, and the Do lens flares. Will actually believe us? Like I said, anyway, maybe leave a comment back. down in the comment section below if you want to see like a different cosmetic look for these characters. We've got quite a few. Nothing on the old scan. Place out. What about Rocket and Groot? Just all the lens flares and the everything to do with the ray tracing. Sick. Come back. You could apologize. That's your advice. Apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I'm gonna think it over. Yes, if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway. Once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where Ooh. he keeps an eye on things. Yes. Beautiful. All right, let's... Talk it up with old chummy over here. You talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Head straight through the market. You can't miss it. Okay. I think we can handle that. It's amazing even just like a couple days not playing this game, trying to reacclimate yourself to the controls. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Whoa. Keep an eye on your face. These gooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. Soothsayers on Katana. This place. Look at the coloring. No one could predict what Thanos would do. And that Titan will pay forever. Whoa, it's Mantis. <laughs> Mantis, what are you... Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No? 
And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? Sun Lord and Rockstar. S Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? He's got a spark on his face. <laughs> Look at Drax. He's like, what's the thing she's referring to? Uh oh, whoa! No, no, no. It's not. Oh, oh. No, he's lying! I mean, oh. Where the Cortati he wrote. The broken promise of all he meant. Okay. This is really awkward. That's what Mantis does, though. Gets those sonar beams going out there and Mantis. tells you the future. You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora. You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Drax is like, what just happened? Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green meanie. Okay, bye. Star guy and green so, meanie. Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. We're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Alright, let's tease you Gamora. I tell you you're an open book. Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. <clears throat> Yo! Coloring. Lens flare. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Oh. Tracks. Okay. Watch it, Star Lord. Watch yourself, jerky red guy. Jerky red guy. Can you believe that? Uh. Okay, so everybody bailed on us now. Hmm. So go talk to Cosmo alone. Man, the lens flare in this is crazy. Crazy amounts of lens flare. All right, what are we doing? Are we up here? the music jamming. I like it. Alright, let's hit the visor. Alright, that's the direction I gotta go. Wait, what is that? Easy money? Wait, call me Captain. Actually, it's Lieutenant, but... Okay. Time for is it skill? Couldn't be simpler find the ball win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stick scream just to prove that I'm on the up to milk. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in. All right, let's do this. What do we got here? Cost me, me 25 credits? Me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all I like the voice right. over in this guy. Uh, Let's go with another one. Hey! Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congrats, 
congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See, All right. Our games on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen. Mm, I know this game. Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling that it's gonna bait me in with a nice little winnings there on the first one and then just absolutely drop the hammer on me in the second. And it doesn't give me an option to see how much I want to bet with, so mm -mm. I'm not playing that game. No, no, no. Uh, hey, wait, there's something over here. Ah, right, here we go. There we go. Look at this place. This place is crazy. Oh, wow. Um, food? Hey there. I'm kind of hungry. You, barely skin and bones, moping your way through the market. Better have a hot bite. It'll make you feel better. So, you hungry or what? This character alien model looks just like the guy that was selling the was a Kara Kara or Terra Terra to Lady Hellbringer Hellbender, excuse me, before he let the thing out and of course it killed him. It looks just like him. Got that little tri tusk thing going on. All right, what do we got? Cosmos in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Super official. Go okay. away. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, I end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Hmm. All right. They don't let me go up the bridge, but they want to send me in this creepy-looking alley. With the great visual lighting effects, I do like that. Uh, okay, that looks kind of dangerous. Let's try this over here. And this is a mirror. Oh, great. So, we're going up the creepy alley. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Nice little pile. Basic components. You picked up 120 components. I like that. This place is freaky deaky looking. I really don't want to get into combat by myself in here too. Because, like I've said in previous episodes, Star-Lord's not the best at combat solo. And it looks like I am rolling solo. Gamora bounced. Drax bounced. Rocket and Groot bounced. I am flying solo right now. Uh, okay. I can't scan this thing. That would have been cool. Now, this place doesn't look dangerous at all, does it? Cosmo? Oh, God. You in here? Cosmo? Well, there was some visual pop in right there. Ooh. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. I've been gradually tweaking the effects, uh, not the effects, okay. but like the, the settings on PC, but still doesn't run as them. smooth as I'd like it to. And with my kind of rig, it ought to just run like a afraid, champ. I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. It was a pretty good imitation of Drax, actually. This is all rotting brain matter, by the way. Ugh. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Uh, let's imitate. Look rocket. at you, Flark and Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. That was another good imitation. That's two for two. Attack. 
So apparently all of this is rotting brain matter from inside that sentient being whose head we're actually in. I guess they're taking this away because it's super rare and valuable. This Cosmo. is disgusting. Cosmo. All right, maybe this side? By the way, I cannot run. I'm forced into just locking and looking around, but we did find some stuff over here. All right, we got some more stuff. 60 components, I like that. Still really beautiful. All right, hit the visor on him, got nothing. Uh, this looks rather dangerous. That's the only way to let me go. Can I go over there? Maybe that way. Uh oh, I'm locked into something now. Oh, oh. Damn. Check this guy out. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh, what is it? Frankenstein from uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Look how big that dude. Oh, and there's another one. Of course there is. Oh, it looks just like him. It's Frankenstein. No, 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 it's not Frankenstein. It's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Lord. And what's a filthy, scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Because everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point <laughs> is, is I can help you find who you're actually <laughs> looking for. It's like less talking. Terrans do all look the same. More smashing. This Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. I heard nowhere. <laughs> Maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. Okay, the Blood Brothers. What are they wearing? Clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah. But you're the one, the lady one. Uh, I can't so get up. Hurry up and die. I'm stuck. Wait. The lady oh, ow. Alive. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh, let me up. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, He's got a point triple. there. Uh, oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, that I'm wrong. Get crushed. Oh, these guys are tough. I, I'm not making a scratch to their armor. All right, let's hit them with the old uh, Rambo stuff. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. They're just going to walk up on me. Ouch. Ouch. All I can do is just run. Is this one of these things where I just got to shoot and scoot for a while? All my abilities are on cooldown. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with these guys. I just keep running. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Okay. And in comes Ninja Gamora. Peter, shoot now. We need to keep them separated. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, we're back in. Okay, so we got to keep them apart. We got it. Got to get out of there. Get back in there, Tiger. I can always count on you, Gamora. This guy's all oh ow. It's all after me. Get him, Gamora. Gamora! What a like a hot knife. Ow. 
I'm trying to dodge these guys. Just make sure they don't crush me. Doing here. Oh, God, I saw him coming from a mile away too. I'll tell you what, man, a weekend away from this, and you just turn into this molasses on the controls. Ow. Okay. Get him. Oh my God. Am I actually gonna die here? Oh, look at Drax just going in on this guy. He just smiled at him, too. It's like, whatever you think you got. Oh, they got close together. That's the problem. Oh, Drax. Okay. There we go. Oh, huddle ready. Let's get a huddle going. Unfortunately, because I'm in streamer mode, you don't get like the actual radio music. I've got this one, Peter. Let me end it. My blade will not be silent, Murderous. Call me that again, and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. It just kind of got like this pep pep guys, rally music guys, playing in the background. Chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quinn. Oh, she's ready to go. Okay. Let's do it. You two wasted the opportunity you had. Gotta get them apart or else her armor's gonna just stay up. Alright, there we go. I got one aggroed over on me. There we go. Oh, let me get out of there. Alright, let's get him on him. Never see it coming. Ow. Get away from there. Oh, dude, how did he change directions? Ah, I disagree, Square Enix. I'm trying to punch this guy. Uh. Oh, what just happened there? Alright, this is weird. Alright, let me crawl forwards. Go for the guns. Come on, Peter. You can get the guns. Let's go! Crawling! And I have a feeling we're just gonna fade to black. What is that? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth. Fade to white. And then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The expressions and the voice acting were both really on point with this game. So much so that it's just, it's so natural. You don't even notice it. It's how well done it is. And I'm in the bathroom. Wrong bathroom. Wrong part of the house, excuse me. I'm not going to interact with all this stuff, but there's a lot of interactions that are popping up that I can. All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. I don't know what's up with all the flashing every time it changes scenes. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space. Ugh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. <sighs> the blasters. Whoa. 
Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. Uh, let's go with enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. That was actually a pretty emotional scene right there. <laughs> Look at that. They charge up when he holds them. Sick. <sighs> oh, shit. Uh oh, it's going down. Oh, it's really going down. What are these guys? They got laser guns in their hand. Is this like the Chitari? It's go time. Weapons hot. We got our Star Lord, Star Lord jacket. We got our mullet. We're hopping stairs. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, damn. It is. It's Shatari. I think it is. Yeah. Up oh, there. I can see by there. Like They're groaning down below, and it is Shatari. Really I'm doing like no damage. Oh. Okay. Kind of just abruptly jumped me into that cutscene. Oh, it is the Shatari redesigned. Bigger, badder, tougher than ever. What a scene. Alright, I have a feeling we're at the end of this episode. Appreciate all the love you've been showing this. Likes, comments, subs are always appreciated. Thumbs up. Share the video. Greatly appreciated. This is Buzz. Until our next episode, peace out.